Hello, this is Barry Branton. We're going to be going over a single question analysis example. Um, there's quite a few number of questions like this on the general knowledge exam. Sort of like a, the best way I can put it is, which of these is true type of question. So we're just going to look at one of these types of questions and um, go through the mental process that you you might go through while you're sitting down um, taking the exam. So in this question it says which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? So it's the question is asking you for something that is true and not only true but especially true and uh, in reference to tires and in hot weather so those three things are you could say critical points about the the question uh, it's asking you what is especially true uh, with reference to your tires and in reference to your tires and hot weather so what we do is we go through each one of these examples because what we're doing is we're, we're doing an analysis or evaluation rather of each answer to see is it a true answer or a false answer and is and is the answer especially true so our first one is you should check the tire mounting you should check the tire mounting and air pressure before driving well, that seems entirely reasonable. You know, I would say that's true because do you want to drive around with uh, a tire that's not properly mounted? Or do you want to r drive around with uh, deflated tires? Mm, I should say not. But that's, so for, we'll, we'll put a, a little T next to this one, uh, this this answer, because we know that one's true. Uh, we haven't looked at the other answer uh, options, but uh, uh, this one is true. Uh, we don't know if it's especially true because we haven't looked at the other uh, answers, but we know that it's true. So we'll go to the next uh, option here, or probably it's a distractor. The, the rest are probably all distractors. Um, but here we go. If a tire is too hot to touch... You should hose it down with water. Hmm. Well, aside from the fact that maybe if you're out on the road somewhere and you don't have access to water, you know, you don't have access to a, a hose pipe full of water, um, what are you going to do then? Um, a tire that's too hot to touch. Um, I mean... That's a pretty hot tire. I'm, I've I've never come across a tire that's too hot to touch. But you know, then to have to hose it down with water, I I don't know. Um, if you if a tire is too hot to touch, you should hose it down with water. I I don't know that you should do it. That's the um I guess you'd say the optimal um. I'm not sure what the what the term is, but uh, should you? I I don't know if you should hose it down. You could hose it down, but I'm gonna say that that's uh, I'm gonna put a, I'm not gonna say it's false, but I'll say not true. So I'll put an NT there. All right, so let's go on to the next one. A small amount of air should be let out to keep the air pressure steady. Hmm. All right, so. I think what they're saying is the tire's too hot. It's or the tire's hot, and um, so what do you want to do? Is you want to let air out of the tire, and um, what is that going to do? That's going to uh, what happens when the tire cools down? You know, becomes a normal temperature, or uh, it gets cool. Then your tire's going to be underinflated, so. That's not a good choice. So we'll put a NT next to that one. Now the next one is uh, all answers are correct. Well, 
Uh, I'm not sure about B, and I'm not sure about A. So it, that can't, they both, they all can't be correct. And look, all answers are incorrect. So you couldn't include that. So I guess you'd have to say that logically, all answers are not correct. So that's an NT or a false. All answers are incorrect. Well, there's got to be one correct answer, and I think this is it right here. So I'm going to say that's not correct. So what we've done, we've gone and we've evaluated each one of these answers to see if it's a true answer or a false answer. And uh, essentially, you definitely want to check your tires before you get on the road. That's part of your pre-trip inspection. So it's going to have to be this one here, A, is the correct answer. Now, let's look on the questions that I have. Here's the where I derived that question. We go to the next one, and you, yes, it's the answer is A. You should check tire mountings and air pressure before driving. So, essentially, when you come across these types of questions, you just have to sit down and just analyze the the question and the answers and find the correct one. That's what you do when you when you're sitting down and taking the the exam, and you're essentially you want to find the correct answer or the best answer. And um, you know you can't always do that if you don't know the content. So it's very important to know the content, but also you have to know how to logically deduce the best answer from among the other answers. So there you have it. Uh, I hope this helps um, for the person that was asking about um, needing help on how to figure out how to answer a question. So thank you so much and have a great day.